guys, hi, good morning. It's Brent Abel here, Web Tennis. And I've got a clip here from the 2013 Brisbane uh, tournament in Australia, tournament leading up to the Australian. And um, this is a, a, a very typical point, or I should say a very typical situation that we all kind of find ourselves in where we play a, a good serve. And this is this is Marcos Baghdadis, and this is Grigor Dimitrov. And, uh, you know, we all get ourselves into this situation where in singles, we end up hitting a, a good serve. And even though we're not serving and volleying, you know, we're sort of ending up here after the serve, we get a short ball. And this ball lands right around in here. And one of the things that we do is, is we get set up on this thing. And rather than using our feet to kind of hit the ball and sort of move through it as an approach shot and thinking more like th this is an approach, either we're going over here to the corner, maybe we're going up the middle, you know, maybe we're going over to this corner, maybe we're even playing, uh, you know, what looks like an approach, but we're going to play a little approach drop shot over here or, or maybe over here. The key is, is that you've got to be thinking this is an approach, which means that your feet end up moving through the ball as you hit it rather than just standing here. And the big mistake I mean I, the big mistake that I see us make is we stand here and try to rip a winner from this part of the court rather than thinking of approach, commit to your target and move through the ball. And and that's really what you want to be thinking on this because when you move forward through this ball, you end up getting some weight, some leverage against the ball and the ball just doesn't sail on you. Um, so it's kind of a two-part deal. It's kind of a mental mental thing where, number one, this is a obviously a two-shot sequence where you serve. And I want you thinking about serving. And even if you're thinking about serving and staying back, staying back really doesn't mean serve and stay back behind the baseline. Serve and stay back really means serve and stay just a hair in front of uh, the baseline so that you can take advantage of this situation here where you get a short ball. Um, great job on space and got the ball off to his side. It's not eating him up. And now the commitment is I've got a target and I'm going to commit to that target and approach. And the reason that you approach is because if this guy, if your opponent guesses this is where you're going, um, then you don't want to be hung out to dry in here. You really want to be able to come in and force the pass. And then if it goes past him, bounces twice, congrats, you've hit a winner. Nice going. So right below the video, give me your thoughts on this. Um, you know, what happens to you on the short ball? When you get a short ball, let me back this up a little bit, right about in here, you've just played a serve, and here it comes back. It's sitting right around the tee. You know, tell me, what's your biggest challenge with number one, being consistent with the shot, uh, but number two, taking advantage uh, of the point. All right, looking forward to your response right below the video. Have a great day out there. Sophie.